Look who's here. It's Maggie again. Again, I was, again. I was able to get her out the house again. <laughs> On a Saturday morning. Initially was very optimistic. Oh, let's meet like at 10 in the morning. Nope. Put you back another hour. That was, a, that was an optimistic Tuesday, Maggie. <laughs> Friday, Maggie was like, let's be realistic here. So today, it took me a while to actually figure out where to take you. So we are going to go to... Da, 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 da. I still don't know. I know. We're going to Doobies uh, in Mount Vernon. And that's actually on Charles Street. They have this, um, it's a Korean inspired cafe. So it's kind of like a Korean fusion with American fare. So okay. um, in the morning, it's just a standard breakfast stuff. But in the evening, uh, they actually have some really great Korean bowls, ramen, noodles, things like that. So today we're going to try out the breakfast um, and see what you think. I'm pumped. And of course, it wouldn't be a Maggie episode if we weren't talking about her wine choice, but we're going to skip that part. <laughs> Along with wine, Maggie is a big binger of Netflix. So I'm gonna ask her. <laughs> you set me up! You set me up! Can I, like, in my own defense, say that there is a general culture of Netflix binging? It's not just like Maggie doesn't do anything ever. So I've gotten back into the world of um, stand up comedy. Oh. Got the new Dave Chappelle special, and yeah. then uh, a lot of Tom Segura. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Bert Kreischer. Yeah. So we are about to pull in here. Look at that. Perfect. Right in front. I, I, I always it get the perfect bike spot. Look at this. Okay, obviously we just stuffed our faces. Do we look heavier? Do you think we look heavier? Well, that's why I'm wearing my puffy jacket. <laughs> yeah, <news>. yeah, tell. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a really cool space. It's very clean, very uh, kind of rustic looking inside, but modern still at the same time. They have a rose brick that uh, they like partially painted. Mm -hmm. Lots of local artwork, which I think is really cool. Like, like you could sit next to somebody and. Mm -hmm talk to them or not talk to them, but you know. Depending on the time of day, well, I definitely don't want to talk to you before my coffee. <laughs> That's for sure. Talk about what we munched on. Oh. Uh, well, should we start? Let's start with the avo toast, avocado toast. Yeah, I take back everything I, any negative thing I ever said about avocado or thought about avocado toast. And the truth shall set you free. <laughs> I just thought it was very, it just has such a reputation. And yeah. now that I've eaten it and I had a fried egg on top, <laughs> I Ooh. I take it all back. Yeah. It was delicious. Yo porn all over the place. Yeah. And they put little red pepper flakes or whatever it was, yeah, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. a little kick on top. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I got challah French toast mm -hmm. um, and it had, it was made with blueberry compote mm -hmm. and topped with uh, a lot of whipped cream. Lots of whipped cream. <laughs> Leslie Nope would have been proud. <laughs> it wasn't overbearing at all. It just added like a little bit of extra sweetness, sweetness and I didn't even use the syrup. What I got was the pork belly eggs Benedict, which was just a surprising like setup because obviously you're aware of the English muffin with uh, you know a typical eggs Benedict, but this one they actually use bao. Um, so if you haven't had bao, I think it was in our episode with Louie back in uh, the me, me and you noodle bar. So uh, they used the bao bread, and then they put the pork belly in there, which I'm pretty sure they use five spice, and then egg, hollandaise, and uh, man, it's all the goodness that you you wouldn't think you wanted, but it's there. like the star of their menu, I the think breakfast so too. menu. But it was just kind of subtle. Yeah, it wasn't like it was aggressively. Like yeah, it wasn't aggressively Asian. <laughs> Make sure to call it hungry. That thing is heavy. Not to mention those potatoes that... I was going to say you're missing yeah. out another piece that I ended up eating off of your plate. Yeah. Was the potatoes. Yeah. They were... Heavenly. 
will be the worst. It was a really, for me, it was a good combination because I had the sweet with the French mm -hmm. toast and then ate off of your plate with the salty with the potatoes. I don't mind that. <laughs> I'm not angry. I don't, I don't care. I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> if I could fall into the sky. Overall, such a really great experience. Uh, space was amazing. Food was awesome. People were so friendly. Home sweet casa. casa. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. So thanks so much for joining me today. Anytime. Anytime. Able to get her out Saturday before noon, which is great. Avocado yeah. like, okay. <laughs> All right. Skeptical at first, but we have a we have a convert now, uh, an elder millennial as well. Elder millennial. <laughs> Bite your tongue. Uh, so thanks again, guys, for joining us today. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if you guys want us to visit a place that you really love, even if it's carry out. We're not judgy. Uh, <laughs> as long as it's edible. Yeah, if it's good food. And we can fit it in our mouths. We're good. Uh, so see you guys next week.